Morning. Determining the surface area of a right rectangular pyramid. Um, what we have, I had to provide this drawing and make a couple changes to numbers here, but getting into these type of problems gets kind of difficult and requires a lot of extra work. So you need the diagram because we get to calculate the surface area of the pyramid. Now this is a rectangular base. So rectangular, six by four. So what we need to do to find the surface area, we don't know the slant height for this or the slant height for this. That's why you have the two different colored triangles. Because right now, we have a height of eight. We have this measurement of six here. So this little measurement right there is three. And this little measurement here is going to be half of four or two. So what I'll do is I'll do them in the colors. I've got a triangle that I'm trying to find the slant height, where I know that I have a height of eight, and the base of my triangle is three. And if you remember, we've got a thing called the Pythagorean theorem. where a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I prefer to use side squared plus side squared equals hypotenuse squared, but uh, sorry about this. I know you can't see it very well, so I'm going to move this out a bit. There we go. Okay. Now, in blue, we also have a triangle that's going to require a Pythagorean theorem. We'll draw it in kind of in the direction that we're seeing. And we have two, right angle, and eight. And I need to know the slant height for that. I'm going to call this one A and this one B. So before we can find the surface area, which by the way, the surface area is going to be two times the area of this front triangle, area, we'll call it triangle A, plus triangle B, which is over here. There's two of these. And area of the base, which is a rectangle. But before we get to that, we have to get our slant heights. So the purple slant height, little a, we'll call it little a squared, is going to be equal to 8 squared plus 2 squared. So a squared equals 64 plus 4. a squared equals 68. Or a equals square root 68. And we'll leave it there. That's it. Uh, we won't worry about anything else yet. We're just going to leave it at square root of 68. The other triangle, b squared, is going to be equal to 8 squared plus 3 squared, which equals 64 plus 9 equals 73. So that's b squared, b squared, b equals square root 73. So those are our heights. Or slant heights, sorry. Now we have all the information to start doing our work. Area of triangle A. So triangle A is my purple one, so I'm going to do 2 times the area of triangle A. So I have the height, square root of 68, times the base, times 6 divided by 2 plus 2 square root 73 times 4 get rid of this make some brackets 2 plus 
base, which is nice and easy. Six times four. Six, four. Okay, hopefully you guys are able to follow this. And this is all the surface area of this rectangular based pyramid. Some basic calculations. Grab my calculator. Get 49.48 plus. Plus six times four is twenty-four. Now I add them all together. Forty-nine point one eight plus thirty-four point one eight plus sixty-four. So all three added together give me one oh seven point three six. It wanted me to round to the nearest meter, meter squared. Is that correct? Meter squared, square meter. One oh seven meters squared and this because it's not exact it's approximate so the surface area all the sides of the shape added together give us an answer of 107 meters squared